I'm Jeremy with VMP Performance, and today we're going to be running through some diagnostics on this car. It came in with a lack of power and IAT codes. We noticed that the coolant in the supercharger was missing. So that led us to wonder where it went to. So I am going to show you how to run a smoke test on this, which we affectionately call it Snoop Dogg in the shop. And let's get started. Normally you use a smoke machine to test your evaporative emission systems, like a PO455 large EVAP leak. You'd simply just hook this thing into your EVAP system and check for the smoke coming out. So the theory is, if it's a sealed system, just look for the smoke. That's all we're going to do. And so this is only uh, limited by your imagination. If you can hook it into a sealed system, check for the smoke. So we've already done a cooling system pressure test on the supercharger, and it didn't show where the leaks are coming from. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to be an internal leak. So I'm going to show you how to hook this up to your intake, and we're going to see where the smoke's going to come out of. So we'd like to give you an overview of the smoke machine. Uh, I've used many different smoke machines, uh, many different configurations, but this one is by far the best one I've used. It is very inexpensive, and it's simple, and it just works well. So you have your battery leads, which you just hook to the car. You have your tube that you're going to uh, apply to whichever system you're diagnosing. And you fill this container up with white mineral oil. And it takes a very small amount in the bottom, just over the heating coils. And that will produce smoke in here. And so when you pressurize the container, it will put smoke into whichever system you're diagnosing. So first you have to get Snoop here into the system and make sure it's all sealed up so you can see where the leak is coming from. The easiest way I've found is to just go ahead and block off your air filter. This will start heating up your can and then you need compressed air. We're going to give it a second to heat up. Few moments later. So connect your shop air and open up the valve. So as you can see, there is no smoke coming out of the engine, but we know we have a leak. So you got to get creative sometimes. And there you have it. Your intercooler is popped if that happens. We just saw the smoke coming out of the coolant reservoir, so we have verified that the intercooler is damaged. So from here, we're going to go ahead and replace his intercooler and get him back up on the road. I've already done a compression and a leak down test to this. If that's something you'd like to see performed, please let us know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned something from our smoke test. And as always, boost us up with that like, share, and subscribe button.